What is going on, G2? It is your boy, Mix, and we are back here for some Week 7 action in the Greatest Gridiron. We got us a game going down this evening here to start off the Week 7. It's going to be the 4-2 Oklahoma City Desperados, and it's going to be the 2-4 London Sentinels. Both of these teams got a bit of a short week. We actually just saw uh, both of these teams over the last couple of days, a uh, few days. So I think we saw the uh, Oklahoma City uh, Desperados three days ago, and we saw the Sentinels uh, two days ago. Uh, but we're going to fit all the games in this week, man. So I just went ahead and decided I'm going to go ahead and show uh, these two teams, uh, you know, this on uh, for today. And then we'll go through the rest of the games for the rest of the week, man. So let's go ahead and get excited for our UDF Bay guy here. Kevin Chumbawamba leading the Oklahoma City Desperados, the oldest UDFA we have actually uh, here in the G2 at uh, 29 years of age, and he is uh, looking to, uh, you know, get another win here under the belt for Oklahoma City. Had a tough loss last week uh, at the Steamers, man. Lost that game 20 to 38, so they're looking to try to bounce back this week and see if they can get a win here against London. I'm going to go ahead and flip over real quick and just see. Uh, what London did so last week London also lost last week in a big way uh, to the Montreal Mounties who are five and one How about the Mounties, but uh, London lost uh, 35 to 7 last week and they definitely will be trying to uh, Bounce back and have a much better game this time around I'm gonna go ahead and look down at the chat real quick and see who is here We got Elijah Swan at a softball game. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, Elijah Carter is here big salute to you We got Devin Taylor. We got Coco uh, punch here Connor Baker is here. What's going on? We got a uh, millionaire vibes here and uh, Darius Hodge of course dunking 15 feet in here and we got Caleb Combs man So big salute to all you guys in the chat. Looks like we got 12 strong right now. Hey guys, it's week 7 here We got a matchup the Sentinels representing the GGC North. That's the global gridiron North and we also have the national uh, gridiron uh, Conference West with the Desperado. So we're gonna get down to this game without further ado OKC to kick this off. London to bring it out. It's a nice sunny day here in London. And we're going to get a chance to see number 12. Jake Kuhn coming out. Let's get a look at the numbers on Kuhn here. 183 attempts, 112 completions, 1,200, 1,300 yards, seven touchdowns, and one interception for Jake Kuhn. He will be from the 21 yard line, two and four. Two and four, trying to get back to 500. Be a read option, and he will get three yards on the play before he is going to be tackled on the outside there by Sidney Walden, the right outside linebacker. And now he'll be in the offset. Looking to hand it all off. It's a nice cut up, nice run lane. That's a good looking run there. This is going to find him at Webster. We're going to get a chance to see Emmett Webster's numbers in just a moment. This guy has been tearing up the ground here for London and a big, huge part of their offensive uh, attack here. Good run there. And that's Webster again, another first down. You can hear the crowd get loud here. Webster going to pick up a nice first down. Utilizing those lanes there. Offensive line doing a good job of blocking. Here's Kuhn. And he handed off again, and this time he will be corralled in the backfield for a three-yard loss on the play. Nice hit coming down there from Carlos Ross, the defensive tackle. He's a little slow to get up, but then flexes <laughs> an extended flex animation here. I like to see it. Love to see it here. Second and 13 for the 40. What's good, Devin? What's going on, Super Connor man? Big salute to you guys. And running inside, Webster gonna break a tackle and finally gonna be taken down on the tail end of that. It'll be Chuck Pope and Short both getting in on that tackle. Third and eight now from the 45. Kuhn, and a throw. Boom, boom, and that's gonna be an incomplete pass there. That'll bring up fourth and eight. So it looked pretty good for the moment. Now London gonna have to backtrack a bit and punt this ball away to OKC. We'll get a chance to see OKC come out for the first time on offense. He 
here are the numbers on Kevin Chumbawamba. How about 131 of 196, 1,600 yards, 11 touchdowns, and just one interception for him. Looked very lost last week. Here he is on the road trying to shake off any of the butterflies he may have had last week here. Quick pass. That's going to be a dime throw. He's going to find Richard Rivers, star wide receiver, 18-yard gain on the play, and that's what you like to see out of Kevin Chumbawamba. Just quick releases veteran quarterback, finding Rivers there. Great gain on the play, 18 yards picked up. It's four down line for the Citadels. A sit four, good block, and Moorhead going to find his way the 47 yard line 56 yards on the ground for him last week looking to have some better production today hand off inside and that'll be the other half back here so they got a dual back, back system here OKC that will be Cole Franklin the backup, they use both of them in a tandem. And you could have you probably hear me making some mistakes here as Franklin and Moorhead both get the ball in this offense here. And that's a first down there as Chumbawamba going to sling that ball there. And that's going to be Tim Leonard, the tight end. And a nice catch there. They're down to the 43 already. Handoff, cuts inside. Moorhead, two yards picked up on the play. Another run inside. Yes, Franklin. To the ground and pound real here. Now it's a third and five. Can Chumbawamba move the sticks? More than likely a passing situation here for him. In the 38, Chumbawamba going to take the snap. Fires over the middle. Has a man. The possession catch is going to be made down to the 25 yard line. Going to find Richard Rivers again on that one. Just a quick strike here. Throws that right over the linebacker's head there. That was actually uh, man, uh, Manny Trapp, the middle linebacker, just unsuspected of that pass there. Trump will put it in a nice spot there over his head to Rivers, and they move the sticks easily on that there. For 25, the veteran on a move here. It's going to be a nice one. Good block there, and he's going to get to the 18-yard line. Amazing block there by the right tackle coming down. the 18 now. Man to man for the Sentinels. Running inside. Cuts it back out. And that'll be a first down for Franklin. To the red zone. They're here. Warhead, big run. Will beat down to the 8. Man, this running attack is looking vicious right now. And, and this is what allows Chumba Wamba to be himself. And he can get both these backs here mobilized and did this quick pass quick passes see that like a Franklin fight there we get back to the line of scrimmage you don't know what you're going to see in this double-headed dragon and then you know Chumma one man such a smart QB veteran able to make the easy passes third and four that's what they do here they will pass here's Chumma Wumba oh he's going to take off here still showing he got some legs and he's going to pick up the first down on his own there so the better you see him cheesing on that one, man. And when they weren't expecting the scramble there, and he gets it off here. Knocking on the door for the three yard line. Moorhead in the backfield. Here's Chubba Wumble under pressure. And they rattle him in the back as he gets chopped down by Weary at the nine. Great defense by the Sitnos there. Chubba Wubba backed up a bit now. Nine yards out. And he handed off again. Good lane. And Franklin will get down to the five. Two yards shy of the previous play. Third and goal. Chumbawamba rolling out. Going to throw. Catch made. And he will be down to the two. But it will bring up a fourth and goal now. Antoine Kirkpatrick. With a reception there, but not enough to get into the end zone. And the 
Oklahoma City Desperados will just go ahead and kick this ball. That'll be a field goal, and they get three here. Well, nice drive. You got to credit the defense of London stopping them down there in the red zone. I mean, it seems like they ran about seven or eight plays when they got to the 14-yard line, and they only get three out of that situation. So you got to credit London on the play there, on the uh, defensive uh, stop there. We'll be back out off the field. Coon going to kick the ball to the 21-yard line. and a man in motion will end it around has a lane at the sidelines and that's a great end around play so they get that to John Stackhouse the wide receiver a 16 yard reception on the play that moves the, the sticks quickly here the run we are game there for Booth 36 Oh, it's going to be a QB keeper, and he will get to the 43 yard line. I haven't had a chance to watch a lot of London uh, this season, so it's pretty cool to see, you know, what they're doing, how they run their offense and everything. Ooh, looking pretty good right now in that read option, man. The 43. Here's Coon, gonna throw, catch gonna be made, it's a first down, gonna roll the shoulder, powers himself up to the 46 yard line. That'll be Alejandro Ramirez, the wide receiver, with an 11 yard gain on the play, and I just love this here, this is hard, those football, tucking the ball, lowering the shoulders, getting low, getting small, whatever you wanna call it. He picks up a nice first down there while protecting the ball against pressure. Good split backs now from the 46 yard line. Don't run it. Oh, it's going to be the read option again. And Kuhn is a fumble. And he's going to recover his own fumble. Gets quite lucky there as he was staring down the face mask of Marcus Murphy, the free safety. And he was able to get to that before Murphy got to it. It have been six. The throw catch made. And that is going to be a first down as he finds John Stackhouse again for his second reception. From the 35, Kuhn. throw on the knee, just dumps it down. One yard picked up on the play. We hand off. Fighting himself to the 30 yard line. It'll be Webster, five carries, 25 yards. They're in the I formation now. Here's Kuhn gonna pass out of it under pressure and he gets chopped down back at the 37 yard line and that is gonna be Bassey, number 99. Aries Bassey to right in. This comes flying in. Queen unblocked there. Who uh, does not have any time to operate on that one. That's a great, play. I think I'm gonna call him Bassey. Aries Bassey there. That was a little bit better there. Well, fourth and 13. And that'll be out at the nine. Oh, boy, they picked him in the backfield. That's Corral. Go ahead, come flying in there. <laughs> no, sir, Murphy. Marcus Murphy, the free safety. Getting around the waist there. Three yard loss on the play. Go ahead, going nowhere on that. From the six yard line. they run him again. It's a good run this time as he'll get to the 14 yard line. Chumba Bubba celebrating that run on the field. 35 now. Here's Chumawamba getting the screen off as Franklin first down and then some. Franklin hit 
Jordan Small himself here and picking up a nice first down. Oh, Franklin, he's just such a great you know, compliment, compliment here to uh, Moorhead and also Chumma Woman in the backfield. And this is what he can do as well, cast the screen. A smaller guy, a lot of speed and explosion on him as well. He's got some good vision, picked up the nice first down there off the screen. For the 27 yard line, here is Chumba Wumba. And hand the ball off here. This is just a very impressive running attack. This is something the AI has decided to do. I didn't do this. This is what they set up here, man. So just kind of um, really unique here. It's gonna be a read, it goes Chumba, and he is going to get to the 35 yard line. Be a third and two. Inside, first down, Franklin. You know when you when you come to when you meet OKC, man. You know these guys are gonna be running the ball, grounding and pounding it. Sentinels have not stopped it yet. They've got 15 rushes. How often do you see that? 15 rushes to five passes. Here's Chumbawamba, going to throw. And wow, <laughs> how did he tight wire that? Caught the ball at the last moment and then just tight wires himself to a first down. That's going to be Rivers. Richard Rivers with a nice first down there. In the offset, Chumbawamba going to take it. Going to throw, lobs one, uh-oh. And boy, nearly intercepted on the play. He's trying to go to Rashawn Kerr down the field. and. Let him a little bit too far there. A running on second and ten. Boy, nice lane. Spin move, and that is going to be Franklin. Now it carries 28 yards here. He's to the 43. They are three yards shy of moving the chains again now. Moorhead in the backfield this time. Gets the screen off. Has a block. First down. Moorhead. And finally be taken down at the 36. 7-8 for Chumbawamba. This uh, time uh, going by very fast here. Already four minutes left in the second quarter. Chumba's going to go under center this time. So it was an offset. Goes underneath. Must be looking to ground and pound. No, he'll roll out. Throws down the field. Connection made in zone. Touchdown Desperados. Rayshon Kerr into the end zone. And that was a beautiful adjustment there. By Chumba Woman. I didn't see exactly what he saw, but how about the mismatch here with Kerr? And who was that that he just absolutely smoked on the other side? That's going to be 39, and the name on him is going to be Justin Wilson, the cornerback. So nice adjustment there by Chumba Wumba. That's a big time touchdown there as they're going to push this thing to 10 now. Wow. <laughs> That's a great play there by the veteran. Great play there by the veteran. Kneeled in the end zone. I have to get a uh, fact check real quick. Actually, Kevin Chumbawamba is actually 30 years old, man. 6'5", 231 pounds. And Trying to keep his uh, stock going here in the G2. Oh, who's under pressure? They get to him. Looks like Aries Basie is going to be the first to make contact with him there. And Kuhn is down. Nice hit there. Yeah, I thought he was 34 as well, but the uh, Leon is saying he's 30 years old. So, all right, fair enough. <laughs> I thought he was 30 myself, though. 34. Hand off. Third and 20. Cool, gonna launch one, and the catch will be made, but no cigar. Brings up fourth and five. How about the hit coming down from Carlos Silvers? on the play there and London going to have to punt this ball back to OKC now go to the two minute warning
Here's Chumawamba going to launch one underneath. Catch going to be made. Finds Tim Leonard again there. Now we're at the two-minute warning here. Second and two from the 34. Tim has got to tighten up. They don't want to allow OKC to put on another score. That's going to be another pass in the catch to the 45-yard line as he finds Richard Rivers again there for his fourth reception. Now with 63 yards receiving here. You can just see it's just great pass protection for Chumbawamba. Just making the easy reads now. 138. Left on the clock here from the 45. And the throw. Catch going to be made by Moorhead as he reaches out for that one. And going to find himself to the 42. Second and seven. Catch made, and Franklin will be to the 39-yard line. They got all their timeouts, just kind of moving this thing down. They are around field goal territory. They will call a timeout now, so now you more than likely will start. If they can move the chains, you'll probably see number one will take some shots down the field now. The team is very aggressive in the pass, and they want to be here. Here's Chumbawamba. And loads it. That's going to be the easy first down there. And they'll call a timeout. That was one left. Probably should try to get out of bounds there, but nonetheless, still have one to give. Well, first down. There's Chumawamba in the pocket, but a throw one. And oh man, this is over the middle of the field there. Trying to target Rashawn Kerr. We got the earlier touchdown. Now, London. In a man-to-man -man situation, Chumma Wumma going to roll out balls, and that ball is going to be incomplete. Steps up, and going to be hit as he tries to throw the ball there, so it brings up Fourth and ten. They are now looking at a 49-yard field goal. Come one, but he's kind of having a word with his lineman there. Man, didn't get the proper block that he wanted there, and that's a delayed drive. Now, I have to go ahead and kick the field goal. It is up, and it is good here. 13 to zero. OKC getting it done, but just falling short. Great defense there by the London Sentinels, not allowing them to get into the end zone again. 27 seconds left to go here in the first half, and that'll be Neil brought out to the 25. You might see Jake Poole take some shots here. He's got three timeouts. Okay, see, quickly gonna go to the man to man. Maybe see some press here. Let's see. See a little bit of it here. Poole gonna throw down the field. Catch gonna be made, and boy, he gets absolutely hit there at the 38. Gonna call a quick timeout. Poole. On a throw underneath, catch made, it's the corner, and going to be inches shy there. They call it over timeout in the 16. Going to be a big strike down the field here. Let's it go underneath there. That might be a mistake as he has to burn the last timeout now. So, no timeouts left to give 12 seconds. Catch this ball in bounds, it's over. Let's see. Good defense there. Drawing hit coming in from Sidney Weldon, the right outside linebacker. The eight seconds left now. Here's Kuhn. Gonna throw down the field. And not to the field. <laughs> Into the locker rooms there. Gonna launch it down the field to end the half. End zone, and that is gonna be incomplete, and that is going to be the end of the first half here. Let's go ahead and uh, look at the schedule. I gotta actually uh, update this real quick, so it's all good. It's better than watching that week halftime show, right, guys? Let's go ahead and put the new schedule in this week to show you guys what's going on here in the G2 for week seven. Uh, there it is there.
Okay, so we got it updated now. All right, so we will be back tomorrow night for G Tuesday. The Orlando Orbis and the Omaha Bisons. Then we'll be on G2 Prime. Tokyo Dragons and Montreal Mountains going at it. Then we got G2 Octane. Can Aviator versus the Houston Oilers. And then we got Full Throttle Fridays here. No Boy Tigers and the Rio de Janeiro. Nighthawks going down. Then we have the G2 Saturday Showdown. That's going to be Mexico City Armadillos. Mexico City Armadillos versus the Toronto Snowhawks. And then we will have the Game of the Week. G2 Game of the Week. The Brooklyn Black Knights and the Oakland Royals is going down, man. That's going to be all the live games this week. You can see the premieres there. They will be popping up starting Friday. Hey, we appreciate you guys for coming through and checking us out, man. Make sure everybody in the chat. How do you like, how do you like those uh, names, guys? Trying to find a way to brand or further brand uh, the G2 here, man. So, going to be making some new logos and stuff like that. Concepts for us here in the G2, man. Just kind of switch it up a little bit, you know. Change the dynamics, you know. Uh, eventually, we start to grow out. Uh, Definitely have some different uh, overlays and stuff like that, man. To kind of make each individual show. That's a nice fight for 32. But to make each individual show, you know, more of it have its own unique uh, style. And then, you know, if we add commentators at some point, uh, then guys will have different sounds, different looks and everything. So just kind of building a blueprint here, man. Hope you guys are feeling it. And if not, hey, let me know, man. All good. And the 32. Gross. the 39 yard line so second and four chumba wumble quickly trying to move the chains here he's going to find rayshawn kerr on that last catch there stepping up gonna throw deep down the field oh my <laughs> the defense i thought he was going to come down with that one and that was great defense barry adams the cornerback getting in there and knocking that ball out Rolls, catch me, and that's going to be a first down to the 40. Four receptions there for Tim Leonard. Great catch. Chumba Wumba on the pressure he gets chopped down in the backfield. Nice hit coming in there from Calvin Mitchell to right in. Second 11. Oh, it's gonna be quickly tackled in the backfield. Great defense there. Grant came through and shut that all the way down. It's J.P. Grant, the uh, left end. Under pressure, and oh my. Another chop down, Calvin Mitchell. And boy, the Sentinels are turned up now to start to see Chumba Woman's jersey. Get a little, uh, <laughs> a little dusty there. It's a good hit there. By Mitchell is hunting Chumba Woman here, trying to roll out, nowhere to go. Great coverage down the field by the London Sentinels. Now bring this back out to the 35. How about that defense by the London Sentinels, man? I had my boy Chumba Wamba in a cheese blender there, man. This guy's choppy chop chop. <laughs> oh boy, Coon's gonna take off and he's gonna have the first down and holds on to the football as well. And Coon to the 46. Nice. That's inside. That's a good run. First down. <laughs> Emmett Webster with a beautiful first down there. He actually pays the price, though, as John Davis, the middle linebacker, came down to a nice shot on him there. But, hey, it's a first down. Got to take the hit when you get a first down like that here. Emmett's going to be hit again. And, boy, they're having no mercy right now. These Desperados slinging it right now. Chuck Polk this time coming with the big hit. Cool, gonna take off, first down, and he's gonna be 
down for 27. Five yards. 35 yards for Coon. He is on the move right now. Webster to the outside gets some blocks. Uh oh, 10 5. And he be stopped down at the five. First and goal. As London started to pour it on now. I think they found some weak spots here. Getting some great blocks on the outside there. And Emmett Webster breaking a nice bit down to the five. Good looking drive here for London. They're trying to turn this into a ball game. Not down, not only down by 13, so plenty of football left to play and plenty of time here. And they put one into the oven. We'll see. Let's go inside. Nice tackle there by Will Hill. The defensive tackle getting in there. Throws in zone. Touchdown London. Alejandro Ramirez. Getting in there. That's a great job there. Nice touchdown. Good drive here by London, man. Coming off the great defensive stop. And then they come in and put a touchdown. That's how you like to see. You like to see your defense helping out your offense. And your offense, offense most definitely start helping out your defense as well, man. Great job by London. Fielded at the two, we'll bring it up to the 20 where he will be greeted. And Moorhead not going to get anywhere there. He's got eight carries, 17 yards. Been a rough day for him. Cole Franklin has looked a little bit better out of the backfield this evening. It's Chumawamba gonna throw underneath. And we'll find Rivers there. Third and four. It's Chumawamba gets a screen off and Franklin's gonna have it before he gets annihilated there by John Davis, the right outside linebacker. Fourth and three here in the punt situation. What's going on, Pharaoh? And I uh, see a new guy here, Carter Johnson. Man, let me get a hashtag KJ. I've not seen him on channel before. I think I saw him uh, join the uh, Discord or something. I'm not sure exactly what he did, man. But big salute to you, uh, Carter Johnson, man. We appreciate you for coming through. Let me get a hashtag KJ in the chat. There's Webster, gonna bounce it to the outside. Gets the 30, break and tackle. And he's gonna be in the 38-yard line. Good run there by Webster. Strong powerful run. Let's loop to uh, Matchbox Games as well. We get a hashtag Matchbox in the chat as well. Some new faces here, checking us out. Appreciate you guys. Gonna roll out here, throws off the back foot. The connection will be made. He gets that to the 44. Yard line, Jake Poon to the 14, 90 yards and a touchdown. So the move now, just down by single score really, or six actually. A roll out, Poon launches, and the connection will be made to the 45 yard line. That catch gonna be caught by Carter Donahue, the tight end on the play. And that moves him across midfield down to the 45 yard line. Read option, and this time going to be red out there. He loses one on the play. That would be Sylvester Mooney. Haven't called his name a whole bunch in this game, but his presence has definitely felt off of the edge there. That's going to be the left end. He's always making an impact game to game here for the Desperados here. Second and 11 from the 46. Coon in the pocket. Going to throw one. Has a man catch made, and that will be to the 37. But we do have an injury tied out here as Pat Batten is going to go down on a knee. He could just go to the sidelines. Hate to see linemen go down here, third and two. Okay, Darius, everybody that said KJ and Matchbox, we're gonna go ahead and give those guys 200 G-bars for this game, man. 
Got to show support when we get new people on the channel, man. Appreciate you guys for watching. Appreciate those two guys for coming through. And hey, G Bar Crew, we got 200 there, man. Appreciate the support as well. Oh, they're gonna fake it! Oh my! Throws! <laughs> Boy, it, it looked good for the moment, but then it got pretty, pretty ugly there. <laughs> oh man, what is this here? He just gets hit. As soon as he tries to wind up and throw that football there. That's gonna be a good stop by the Desperados. Side and it's blown up an eight yard gain on the play. Nine carries 36 yards for Franklin. So, Moorhead, the starter, has been struggling, but it's been old oh, Franklin's world doing a much better job. Pretty good game here. Number one, we're going to throw on loads of the week, and that'll be a good check down to Moorhead. 18 of 23, 194 yards, and a touchdown for Kevin Chumbawamba. He's at the 49. Single back rolls out, throws, catch will be made. And we'll have it at the 44 yard line. That'll be the end of the third quarter. Man, these, these quarters are flying by tonight, guys. We started at uh, what, 7 7 30? It's 8 11 and <laughs> 40 minutes, man. Wow. Are new here hit the like button subscribe join the channel so you don't miss whenever we go live here in the g2 also follow us on social media as well that'll pop up in the chat in just a moment you follow us on instagram at greatest gridiron that's where we've been pumping out a lot of the team recaps and such and we also have a twitter which uh, we still have to work with but i want to go ahead and start following that take flight g2 is the twitter we appreciate you Gonna be Franklin spin move. Oh my, what a move that was there by Cole Franklin getting low again. I really like the acceleration, the uh, athleticism on this halfback here. No, he hasn't done a whole bunch. But when you look at you look back at the games, you know, you say 37 carries, 171 yards, doesn't seem like a lot, but it's the, it's the hard earned runs that he's able to get as, he's, as he gets uh, <laughs> as he gets stopped back there, right there, right? But no, it's been the hard earned runs, you know, picking up the first downs, his little deep and dunk stuff. And it's really just made this guy just such a great player. And helped him out in some tough spots as well here. Second and 14 for the 41. Come on, one we're going to throw, and that catch will be made. That'll be Rivers here reeling that in, and they'll be one yard shy of moving the chains again. Franklin in the backfield. Rivers with his sixth reception there. And Chumba going to throw. Snap! Jeez, almost. <laughs> Man, it was too good to be true. Dustin Wilson. And they're gonna go for it here on fourth and one, and Moorhead is in the backfield. They're gonna run Moorhead. It's been hard and it's been a rough all day on Moorhead. Not sure about the decision there. Not the best decision, I would say, for OKC here. They get denied. I just take the points, man. Just take the points or at least run Franklin. He's been the one that's been hot. Warhead getting nowhere there. That might come back to haunt, haunt him. Jake Coon's like, hey, we'll take it. He's going to chalk back out. <laughs> Got this ball at 29. Great option. This has been good. It's good up there. Picks up one. It's been pretty good there. That decision, though, to cut it back inside. Man, let's keep going outside. Up one on the play from the 30. Coon in the pocket. Unloads outside. Catch made. Beats the quarter. And will beat the 37 yard line. 32 now. Oh, Brothers finally catching his first reception. Seven yard gain on the play. To get a run. And Webster just gets there, but not able to get it. Pope. Chuck Polk, the middle linebacker, stopping him dead in his tracks. Look at that ice hit there. Got some right off. 
Looks up fourth and inches now. They'll punt this ball away. Chumba Wumba will run back out onto the field, trying to preserve this lead. He's only up by six. sideline so might not be as bad as we think it is usually when they go to the locker room that means it's uh, gonna be long term but short term when you go to the sidelines we might be able to see him back in this game maybe just a little banged up for a second Being another back coming into the game for Kelvin Kerr third backup Here's Chumwamba, throws on the lead, and the Rivers will have it. Second and one. Seven receptions for Richard Rivers in this game. He's keeping the chains moving as well. Stable back, they'll look the RPO, has it. First down is Rivers. Legend forward here. Double Wumba, man, looking amazing. 30 yards, 23 of 30, passing. Got a touchdown in this game. He's driving with the authority right now as well. Kerr, as Kerr almost slips another tackle there, picks up some solid yardage on the play. Second and four. The use of the run here in OKC is just heavy, man. Three backs and a QB that can run. More ground and pound, but this time that's going to be stopped here. Third and five, it just has not been Moorhead State. He's got to talk to his old line. They're blocking for everybody but Moorhead in this game. He's the feature back here. 35 for the 44. And the throw. And has the catch made. It's a first down. As he connects with Tim Leonard again here. His fifth reception. Now with 51 yards. Boy, the woman really threw that in there. Nice dime thrown. Sidelines again. We'll have Rivers again, a five-yard gain on the play. This is what you'd like to see out of Kevin Chumbawamba. Man. Just a quick snap, quick throw. Quick snap, quick throw. Ground pound, ground pound. Basically, he'll take a shot downfield, but they don't have to. Kind of a West Coast style of an offense. They're running here. West Coast zone run. They are very effective because they picked up another first down here from the 24-yard line. This is just showing what Kevin Trump, what we can do late in the game here. He's approaching a four-minute drill. He's looked good on this drive. Going to throw underneath, and that ball is going to be knocked out, trying to target Theo Banks, the tight end there, and kind of threw a awkward pass to him, knocked him out the drive. In the 24. There's Trump, warm under. Going to throw it underneath there. Three-yard gain on the play. It's just keeping the clock moving. Keeping the clock moving. Definitely a great game manager. Stereos Hodge just noted in the chat there. Trumbo Wamba in the pocket. Going to roll out here. Uh-oh. And throws that ball away. Going to pick up fourth and seven. Would have loved to see him take off there. But hey. Just going to go ahead and extend this thing to nine now. That's actually not bad here. Not taking any chances there to get. Field goal is up, and that's going to be good. So they extend this thing to nine now. That makes it at least two scores. Take this out of the end zone. Brings it across the 10 to the 19-yard line. Now 328 left to go in this game. And it's a long gonna be a long way here for Kloon. I mean, he's down by nine, so let's see. Steps up, gonna take off here. And it's a football! And 
The Sentinels have it back. <laughs> Kuhn. Throws and cannot make the connection to B.J. Davis, the tight end there. Okay, see, just playing small ball here. And, you know, you don't have to do a whole lot when you only got, we only give it up seven points on defense. I mean, not bad for this D at all in this game. Yes, I say the same thing as well, you know, for uh, London as well. They've only given up 16, but, you know, no production out of their offense, man. It's, it's a tough spot for them here. Poon going to throw. And that's it complete here. Second and 10. Hand it off. And will be tackled at the 44 yard line. Third and one. I haven't seen a lot of Emmett Webster as well in this game. Cool under pressure. That's just been the game. That's, that's, that's been the game. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Strapping, strapping wide receivers. Fourth and one. Okay, who's here? I mean, let me get one more quick check-in. I want to see who is here. Let's hit the two-minute warning. Who's here at the two-minute warning in this ball game, man? Going to give guys another chance to earn from G-Bars here. Already giving out 200. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, new careers, new careers, new start, huh, Mitch? <laughs> I ain't mad at you, bro. It's new to the uh, Montreal Mountains, man. Set that five and one, five and one here. Coach uh, O'Brien in the chat right now, getting a little chatty. <laughs> I ain't mad at you, man. The timeout will be called. Third and three. Darius, you can cut that uh that check-in off whenever you want to. You want to give guys a little bit more time, and whenever you want to cut it off, uh, just be fair about it. Throws, <laughs> and it's gonna be a first down. Yeah, I see him. I see him. <laughs> uh Darius, no, Darius had to go raining on raining on the parade though, man. Who gave him the first loss? I'm not mad. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna be a great rivalry there. I'll tell you that. Mounties and Huskies. Cool on the move. Uh, incomplete pass. <laughs> Just wanted, wanted him to say it, huh? You guys are crazy, man. Here's Cool. Rolls out and gonna be hit. That'll be Josh Johnson, the left end, getting back there. Get a piece of food here. Fourth and 12. Pride pass here. Gonna step up. Gonna throw down the field. And so did not gonna be caught. And the Desperados are gonna take over on downs. They get this ball back and they protect this lead here. They did not have to do a lot here. Come a wumble. It's absolutely amazing. Spreading the ball throughout. You see Richard Rivers here. Nine receptions, 101 yards. Come a wumble, man. Great game manager. He's going to be in the victory formation. Going to kneel this thing out here and improve, improve his team to five and two. Rough game last week, but they bounced back this week. And immediately a few weeks ago, when Chumbawamba joined this OKC team, you know, came all the way from Houston and joined this team, you could just immediately see the impact he was having on this team. And I would say this is a great system, a great fit for the UDFA, Kevin Chumbawamba, 30 years old. He's going to get another win under his belt here. Trying to keep it alive here. Wow. How about this game, guys? It's the G2 Greatest Gridiron. All you guys have been absolutely great. I agree, Elijah Swan. This is a slug fest, man. Definitely a slug fest. Defense, defense, defense. OKC, though, going to get it done here. 16 to 7. 
London, hey, they're gonna fall to two and five. Big salute to everybody who came out, man. I'll show the stats, and we will see you guys next time. Gonna go ahead and just flash this real quick. You can see the uh, schedule before the stats. We'll be back tomorrow night. Tomorrow night at 7 15, we're gonna have the Orlando Orbits at 3 3 versus the Omaha Bisons at 2 and 4. And up to G Tuesdays. Make sure you do check us out. Hit the subscribe button. Whatever you gotta do, like the channel, help us out. Go ahead and look at the stats. And I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. It's been real. I appreciate all of you guys who came through this evening uh, to check us out. Man. Are you looking for high quality simulation football action? Then look no further than the greatest gridiron. Our league consists of 32 relocated franchises from around the world. We are the World Games of Simulation Football, where teams from all over the globe will compete on the greatest of gridirons. Hone your skills as a player or a member of a franchise coaching staff. Compete yearly for our illustrious Global Bowl, awards, accolades, and bragging rights as you climb the ladder of success and greatness. Are you a pro or just an average Joe? The Greatest Gridiron is looking for dedicated and passionate people to help build a league that emphasizes on trust, loyalty, and respect. Look at you. What makes you so great? This is the Greatest Gridiron where you can't stop greatness. Take flight. Take flight. Take flight.